I hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be creating this sci-fi portal animation. The animation itself doesn't look good because I had to record it, uh, screen record it, because my system is having some issues. But the end product does look really beautiful. Uh, so first you'll need this add-on, uh, the Wonder Mesh add-on. Uh, the link will be in the description. For those who have watched my uh, Spider Web tutorial, they know I already have my, might have installed it, but you guys need to install it before we get to the tutorial. So first of all, with later default cube, shift A, W primitives and W ring. Go into wireframe mode to understand why we need this. And uh, we're going to go to the vertex properties. The segmentation increase it to 32. And the cap increase it to 4 or 5. I'm going to go with, I guess 5 is better. And uh, the inner increase it to 0 0.3. Then going to solid mode R X90 to record it on the X axis and then S8 to scale it eight times. I actually have uh, almost all the things calculated. Then going to modifiers, add modifier, wireframe modifier. So we get this spider web looking thing. Uh, we increase the thickness to 0 0.003 and then apply it. Then shift A mesh plane. S by 8 to scale it by 8 in the um, y axis, then tab, go to um, edge set mode and click this edge, G, Y to increase the size, make it as big as you want, but enough, just enough that um, when we later add the camera, it uh, actually, uh, hide, actually hides it in it. After this, uh, shift A, mesh, uh, regular circle, tab. E to go up and uh, right click to cancel the transformation and then S8 to scale it by 8. Then go tab into uh, solid mode, back to solid mode and then RX90 again. Then tab again to go to edit mode again. Deselect uh, everything. C to select, oh sorry, you have to go to select mode. C to select all of these vertices and then we're going to scale it to this point, you know, just like this one. And the material it's going to have is the regular material, the regular basic material. So, uh, so will this plane? It will only have this regular material. Now we're going to add our lights. Shift A, light, point, G, Z to move it upwards. And uh, let's go to top view and move it right about over here. Increase the power to one thousand. And this color to this bluish type of color now let's see into render mode mm, I think we're almost there maybe just move it a little bit over here and then shift D G Y to make another one back but the back one has to go a lot more further uh, just enough that we actually see just a slight color of it not too much now we'll need a sh icosphere. Reduce the subdivision to one, and G Y to oh, G X to move in the side for now. And um, we're going to give this spider web one, the W ring one, a particle system. A particle system. Create a new particle system. Emitter. Uh, for now, keeps everything uh, as it is. Just change the hello to object and the instance object into the icosphere, and finally change the field weight's gravity to zero. We are going to change a, lot, a few of the settings uh, later, but for now we need to add another thing for it to make sense. Now shift A, force field, force G Y and nine, and the force field is actually really unique. If its strength is positive, then it will uh, repel the particles. But if its strength is negative, then it will uh, attract the particles. So set the strength to minus 30. Now when you play it, the particles seem to be going towards it. But uh, we actually need to increase the size of the particles. So scale, I'm going to increase it by, I think this much is good. And I guess the strength of minus 30 is too much. 
so let's try minus 20 i actually want your particles to just vanish right over here right over here where this force field is wait i think i uh wait we'll actually go back to minus 30 again but the particle's life has to be altered so the particles damn uh the particle's lifetime change it to 20 frames and don't turn on random um, ran, random life or anything now the particles disappear right at the uh, force field part so now we're going to give uh, everything the materials let's just wait yes it actually looks good so now we're going to give the remaining materials to everything so first the icosphere i'll actually just explain it to you because this way it will be a lot more faster than me actually creating the material right over here i don't know why i named it crazy please don't ask so in the shader editor it's actually really simple a mix shader plugged into an emission shader with a strength of 30 color ramp color ramp should be constant with three of these colors yellow pink and uh, white and all should be in the distance of 0 0.33 because we actually want them to be equally numbered and uh, it will also be uh, attached with the object info node and random node um, random setting to over here the color ramp into the factor of the mix shader and, uh, and this one is actually going to be linear the black and white should be pretty close and noise section noise section cell should be 5 detail 5 and distortion 1 you can uh, and the transparent shade over here and you need to actually change the transport uh, for, because of the transport shader, shader you have to turn, uh, turn on alpha clip over here in the blend mode you have to turn on bloom and ambient occlusion too before i forget i think i forgot on the urdu version of this tutorial so oh well, i guess i have to record that one so now we'll actually see it with bloom see we actually have this beautiful broken material and uh, now for this uh, spider web thing material this one this material is actually going to be animated and so are going to be uh, the lights going to be so first i'll actually show you it's again a mix shader into an emission shader but with a strength of 10 uh, 10 uh, if we, we plug in with the uh, principal bscf completely metallic should be one specular 0.5 roughness 0.5 sheen 0.2 sheen chain 0.5 clear code 0.42 if you actually want just pause the video here to create this one uh it isn't that much complicated and then add a color ramp with a constant constant setting black and white and uh, about over here present into a noise texture with a scale of 2 detail 5 distortion 5 into a mapping node which is important for animation and texture coordinate generated into the uh, vector of the mapping node to actually animate this i'm actually going to show you how to animate this it's actually pretty simple we're actually going to be using keyframes to rendered view this is actually very pretty so uh, on frame 0 place your mouse above over here click i to add a keyframe i'm i actually already have a keyframe add because i painted the material and then move your move your uh, timeline to 250 and change x y z all of them into 10 km and then click i to add another keyframe this is how you actually add keyframes to actually animate this material and it looks pretty good and then finally if we're going to add uh, the keyframes for the lights uh, well or actually only the front light not the back light the back light can be constant so we're going to add the keyframes on the strength of the uh on the, or the on the power of the light on 1000 and on frame zero it should be on frame zero click i then go to frame 50 change the power to 200 and then click i to add another keyframe now click uh, click on this free keyframe and then shift click on uh, the second keyframe you have, I have currently the both, both of the keyframes selected right click on it copy it go to frame 100 and right click and paste you have now co uh, copy pasted both of the keyframes i'll actually show you in the rendered view the strength goes down you see now it actually gets a little bit darker and then actually it goes back to 1000 you can actually see over here the strength decreasing and increasing so on frame 200 do that again paste it it's actually an easier way to uh, add the keyframe and decrease them 
and now finally we're going to add the camera so shift a camera go uh, about over here right if you actually remembered my original video original video so view align view after adding the camera align active camera to view over here not now we actually just have to adjust it a little bit like over here g to grab uh, the camera is already well actually grab and uh, we're actually going to change a little bit of settings rotation on the x axis actually we actually want this to move over here and set to right about over here now let's see in the rendered view play the animation and voila so i hope you guys learned something today and if you did please uh, like this the video comment subscribe to our channel it really means a lot uh, help me reach 1000 subscribers so see you next time goodbye